Hey everyone, this is Because from Small Academy and today we're gonna look at the recycle view with card view and we'll also use Picasso to load images from the URL. So in the last video, I uploaded simple recycler view with the card view where we had just a simple card view with one text view. Now this is a grid view here as you can see in the demo application. This is the final application what we're gonna going to build and it has this image view and the title for the image. We'll go ahead and learn how to create this grid. We'll also add Picasso library to our project and we will load these images from the remote URL. And I'm going to give you the sample URL as well so that you can follow along with me. So let's get started. So as always, let's go ahead and create the sample Android Studio project. Now I'm gonna give the application name for our sample application and select the language as Kotlin and let everything else be the same and click on finish once we are done with that uh, we'll have this application created for us and we can go ahead and start adding the required dependency so first things first i'm going to add the kotlin extension in our application so that we'll be able to use its features so let's go to our gradle file here and add the kotlin extension so id quotes kotlin android extension and sync the project okay and now now as i said we're gonna going to use picasso picasso to load the images so i'm gonna go to picasso github repository and get the dependencies from here so scroll down and copy this dependency and you can just simply paste that here and once you sync the project we are good to go okay so let's go ahead and create the custom view that we need so let's go to layout and uh, create the layout resource file and give the name as grid item view okay now here we're gonna use card view obviously so drag and drop the card view and that card view is going to have the constant view so that it will be easier for us to design the layout and I'm going to fix the constant. Make it match parent. So that we'll be able to add the required uh, component here easily. So I'm going to add image view first. Okay. And here I'm going to add one sample image from my directory uh, from my computer. So I'm going to go to the downloads here and copy this sample image and go to the drawable file and paste the image into the drawable folder and here rename it. Okay, now I'm going to drag and drop the image view, select the image that I have just added and now i'll fix the constant it's going to have the match constant as the layout width and it's going to have the fix height so i'm going to give 150 dp of height and here in the scale type i'm going to make it fit xy so that it's going to take all the required space here okay now uh, finally let's add the text view for our title of the card Okay, and it's going to have the font size of 18 SP. Let's make it bold and center and make it match constant. I'll give the 8 dp of margin. Okay, now let's make this card view wrap content so that it's going to wrap around this layout. And this root constant layout is going to have the same wrap content property. Okay, so this is the design that we're going to use for our grid view. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the two string array resources. And in the one string array, I'm going to add the URL of the images. And in the other string array, I'm going to add the card titles so that we can reference to those array and uh, retrieve the images and the title in our recycler view okay so to create the xml resources 
go to resources here right click there go to xml and create values xml file and here i'm going to give the title as car title or car titles okay and now here i'm going to create the string array and i'm going to set the string array title as car titles and here now we're going to add the multiple items okay first item third item and so on so i'm going to copy and paste this item for a couple of times now let's go ahead and create one more resource file xml resource file for the card images so it's going this file is going to contain this file is going to have the array of url that is going to contain our image so i'm also going to show you guys where we'll get the sample images as well so card images finish and now i'm gonna create the string array okay now item and we're gonna create the same number of item as we have created here in the card title so that uh, our application is not going to uh, encounter any error later so make sure that we have the same amount of item in car title and the card images okay so for the images i'm gonna go to one site called pixum.photos and this site provides the sample images that you can use in your project okay so select any of the images go here in the photo slash images and here you can find this uh, multiple number of images so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to right click on here and copy the image address and i'm gonna go to my android studio and paste it here and i'm gonna do that couple of times now i'm gonna copy and paste this couple of times just the way that we have done in our car titles and make sure that these are the same items number uh, make sure that uh, we have the same number of items in car titles and the car images so these are the images and these are the car titles okay so this is our view that is custom view that we are going to use for our recycler view items this is our titles this is our images so i'm going to create new cotton class and i'm going to give the name as grid item adapter okay it's going to extend the recycler view obviously dot adapter and here it's going to contain the grid item adapter view holder as generic parameter now we need to create the view holder class so class view holder and it's going to extend the recycler view view holder okay now it's going to it should uh, have the constructor that received the uh, view as the parameter so that we'll be able to inflate the title and the images that we have in the custom view here okay now we need to uh, add the initialization parameter here constructor parameter okay now let's go and implement the members that we need for our application so now we're going to go ahead and implement all of this so let's start by implementing the custom view to our adapter so val view it's good okay equals to we'll use the layout inflator from context that is parent context and inflate the layout that we have created and pass the parameter parent as the parameter here view group and the false and we'll return this newly created view to our view holder like that okay now in on bind view holder we'll bind our uh, data that is car title and card images to the item view here we'll do that later first let's make sure that our grid item adapter can receive the data from the main activity or wherever it was it is called so first thing we're gonna make sure that it can receive is the card title okay and it is gonna be of type array of string okay similarly we'll also need the card images 
so card images it is also the same type array of string so now whenever this grid item adapter is called the caller should pass this parameter so that we'll be able to use this car title and images let me make it titles titles and images in this adapter here so now here in the get item count i'm going to return the item count of car titles and remember this car titles and the card images have the same amount of items so you can return any uh, size of either car titles or card images okay now we have this view holder inside this view holder i'm going to make sure that uh, so inside this view holder we need to uh, get the external resources from this item view custom view here and create the variable so let me create the image view first card images image card image it is of type image view and now i'm going to reference the item view find view id r dot id and card images image and i think i have not given the id to this so let me go ahead and do that okay and car title for this text view okay now here i can access this and similarly for the car title it's of type text view so i can reference that through item view find view by find view by id r dot id dot car title okay now we can access this card images and card title inside this on bind view holder to display the data into this grid item view custom adapter in our recycle view so i'll reference that through card uh, holder holder variable that is given to us to buy, buy this uh, method here so card images sorry uh, first we'll set the card title text equals to we'll just reference to the card titles array that we have and pass the position and now we'll use picasso to display the image okay picasso dot get dot load and here we need to pass the url that we want to load and url and we are getting the url string from the card images array here okay so what i can do is card images and pass the position as the parameter and finally we need to load that into holder dot card image okay so this way we'll be able to display the card title and the images to our recycle view okay now finally we need to call this read item adapter and we need to set that to our recycler view and we'll do that in our main activity so here in the main activity let's add the recycler view and fix the constraints and now i'm going to give the id to this recycler view as a grid item okay and now in the main activity i can refresh that through grid items okay so before that i'm going to create the adapter variable and we'll create the instance of adapter variable that is grid item adapter okay and it's going to take two parameter that is array of string of card titles and array of string of card images and we need to get that first so val card titles and it is going to be of type array of string and if you remember we have this uh, array of card titles available here in this card title.xml file so we can reference that directly so we can get the resources dot get string array and here we can pass the id that is r dot card title titles r dot not id array dot card titles okay and similarly we can create the card images array here that is of type array of string and we can reference using the resources okay now we can pass these titles and images through this adapter okay 
now i can reference the grid items and we need to add the layout manager and here we need to create the grid layout manager so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to create one more variable and here we'll create the grid layout manager and it's going to take two parameter one is context and the span count so span count is number of items that we want to show side by side so i want to show two items at one row so i'm giving two here if you give three four it is up to you and now here i can set the grid layout okay and finally we'll set the adapter to this recycler view dot adapter equals to adapter okay now to access the images using the url we need to give the internet permission to this application so i'm going to go to the android manifest here and add the users permission for the internet after that we are ready to run this application so let's go ahead and run this i have my emulator open here i'm going to close this sample application and this application is uh, building right now okay and here you can see we have loaded the images and the grid but uh, the grid is not uh, separated with this margin here so let me go ahead into our custom view and fix that so in the grid item view here i'm going to give margin to this card view so that it's going to display that margin in our recycler view so run this again and now you can see we have this card view with the images and the item and you can see here first item second item that is uh, set here so if i change this to some item it's going to uh, display that changes in the recycler view when i run this application and you can see some item okay so guys this is how we load the this is how we create the grid layout in recycler view using the kotlin and load the images using picasso so if you have any problem while writing this code let me know in the comment below and i will uh, try my best to answer the answer them and if you want to connect with me you can join our facebook group and you can message there also if you haven't liked this video and want to see kotlin tutorial in the future then definitely like this video subscribe to our channel and i will see you in the coming videos